big fan of Alice in Wonderland and uh, Lewis Carroll, the author himself, who's a mathematician. Um, but he's a great example of what Ken Robinson would call a divergent thinker. Someone who, even though he was an adult, was capable of imagining fantastic universes. We have a cross-disciplinary team of mechanical engineers, chemists, material scientists, all working on different projects that are also interrelated. The initial demonstration was a heart because that was actually simpler for us to make. And we made the heart using a casting process that has been around for a very long time. We just used a 3D printer to make the mold and designed the, the material to fill the mold. Um, but the process itself is ancient. The heart that we've made is composed of a poroelastic silicone, which is a lot like a memory foam mattress. We decided to use a heart as an example because it's a very complex shape. Um, and it's a machine that everybody's familiar with. So by making a machine that looks like a heart, that pumps like a heart, uh, we thought it would demonstrate our materials capability the best. It has the potential to um, get FDA approval um, because it is highly stretchable. Um, we can change the pores inside of it so we can get more or less connectivity across the material for our fluids to pass through it. I mean, it's also very soft, so we don't have to apply a lot of pressure to get fluid to move through the pores. Cornell has a really great multidisciplinary environment um, and great researchers, so I can take my concepts, find somebody that's interested in them, and they can help me make it real, and vice versa, someone else, some other brilliant person here can find me, and if they have something they want to make, um, we can probably find a way to make it for them. Anybody can have an idea, but actually implementing it and making it real is very hard to do, and you really need good people to do it. So being at Cornell, I'm very lucky to have great students working on this project.